Hello my soccer universe. As the last of the big leagues, the Bundesliga is getting underway this Friday evening. However, this does not mean that there was no football played in Germany so far. We already had a cup round and you see the results here of the top 10 teams from last year's Bundesliga season. All of them advanced but Hoffenheim needed penalties against Würzburg kickers from the fourth league for instance. Bayern easily over Ulm, we had Leipzig also easy over Rot West Essen, Freiburg similarly, Heidenheim, Dortmund, Bremen, Frankfurt against Eintracht Braunschweig was a little bit closer, it went late. The last two, Stuttgart and Leverkusen, have not played yet because they also played the Super Cup against each other, where Leverkusen again got a late equalizer and then won on penalties. Now, as I have done for the other leagues, I'm gonna preview this season by asking three questions. The first and foremost of which is, of course, how will Vincent Company do at Bayern Munich? Early signs are it's working out actually better than everyone expected. However, it's still one of those appointments that initially doesn't make sense. They're trying to shed some of the old guard. He's bringing in young players. I think Bayern is overall doing a good job. It seems all to work well, but Company definitely has a lot to prove and Bayern will not accept another title this season. It is only in Germany that we go straight to Bayern, the biggest team. However, the big team of last season was got Bayern Leverkusen. Xabi Alonso's side was irresistible last season, losing only one single game, which was the Europa League final. And they maintained more or less their squad from last season. So the big question is, can they keep up the same frantic pace? Is it a chase to catch Bayern or will it be again a chase to catch Leverkusen? This to me is one of the most intriguing questions of this upcoming Bundesliga season. And the last question is right behind who will fill in the Champions League spots and will we get another team that may be catching up to the top two teams at least ahead of the season. I'm looking for Dortmund who have a new start of course. I'm looking at Stuttgart who lost a whole lot of players but still look good in the Super Cup. Leipzig maybe can get something going for once as well and maybe there's an outside team like Frankfurt who always are suggesting that they might be able to push up but they're not quite doing it. Well, the best way to answer these questions ahead of season is of course to look at the expected standings that come from a model where I take the ELO ratings and the bookkeepers odds where I average over a large number of bookkeepers. I compile the strength two parts, the bookie rating one part, the ELO rating for now. And we see it will be a tight one, but Bayern are the favorites. Of course, they're the richest team, they have the deepest squad, they should be considered the favorites. However, Leverkusen are probably a better team still. So, according to our model, we're looking at a very, very tight title race with Dortmund, Leipzig just behind and then Stuttgart with a little bit of a fall off, but still potentially qualifying for Champions League. Frankfurt, would make the Europa League spot, but they're just the top team of the remaining crop. Towards the bottom, we have two very interesting promoter sides, of course, FC St. Pauli. Everyone is talking always about them and they are very interesting fan base. They rarely ever survive a Bundesliga season. Then we have another Northern Light in Holstein Kiel, teeny tiny stadium. Will this be another Darmstadt or will this be another Heidenheim? This is my big question. Of course, Heidenheim, they are scaled to finish mid table, but can they maybe push for more? A little bit like Hoffenheim with just a better backstory. That still remains to be seen. The season gets going with Leverkusen taking on Gladbach away from home. Gladbach another team that is longing to finish in a better spot. Dortmund against Frankfurt is probably the big one, it's the late one on Saturday. Bayern start at Wolfsburg, so I think those are the most interesting matches. There's also a Southwestern derby between Freiburg and Stuttgart, which is actually quite heated, so watch out for that one as well. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!